Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall! This is a raid! That's how we sit deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again! What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens! They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Ready? Where you're walking, I just clean those floors. Well, all right then, no hard feeling. My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here, right? You ever thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment? Hmm. You look like an off-worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. Well, the best place to go is probably Kebley Yurt's store. She's right across from the cantina, so you can stop in for a drink if you get thirsty while you're shopping. Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets there. Here, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. I should get back to work anyway. I'll probably see you around. I'm here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. Ready. On it. What? It's open. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. Well, I suppose you seem like an all right sort. When I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. 
When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. Tong hai tuam jiji jung lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. Yumalita kuto tun. Chilamulane nindu bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulira. Slimo and I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand-to-hand -hand and melee combat. Tong haid wam jiji jum lumpa nita poe tikitu dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut kachi chu ita dundonga yumalita kuto tun. Chila mulane nindu bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulira. Ta kumjus tak miki grabul mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank waleo ganda naru chuchut. Mogesha punga bola wana chikne. Pa mule slimo podada nanga kumbis mulira best. Chi gratu loda pograshi onio kumba chin tomo muchuba. Loda nita kun. Ita patisa batua kacha tu tong. Bagra sha kun ticha ka um. Chuba kaha chopa chawa chwish yunku. Jodo jid bunga rantang. Tolpa da bongwale kandu nangugu chuchut. Kava dum ku pilio botenya. Bonanai kuchu. Hawaga boska chokola. Mucha shag panka. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek. Tuk nin chatu kunne mule rabes. Tong abog sha umninang. Wanga kun bez keng palemuraya. Chuni yun tun chichi itatwana. Kava volpa mulje gumana. Tag bis ju bongo koki mak panka. Ching pala chiska mule tunarana nu prata dunko sicha tuma wamama tus keba toma. Nisha julorcha kinguno bule rajiko. Chan shak bulara umra chiska duchi on chuban jiska yanki titoke gratun kum chicha kun king kacha chunora. Bogra wala no tumba cha. Nechi chuna chuba ching lorda ita kun. We tam boragatong mulira a shangturung ni na potata tuanga chun tize. Igrutu haga jijiwa. Wata juma wana hu wama hulhu na tek. Chi gratu loda. Rashi on the Ukumba, Jin Tomo Muchuba. Loda Nita Kun, Ida Patisa Batua, Kacha Tutung. Bagra Shakun Tijaka Um. Chubakaha, Chopa, Chawachwish, Yunku. Jodo Jid Bunga Ranta, Muchashak Bakat. Kiyinuno Namapaole Rachikun. Achuta. Wonga kun bis tulpi kikuyana. 
Tong Patugas Bakilia. What? What? On it. Sure. It's open. Pudu, Tony Rama na praka donko tsercha chupapanki. Sure. It's open. Ready. On it. Sure. It's open. Gavik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits. A down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Gavik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? <laughs> No! Help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but we can just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. <laughs> Thank you. I owe you 
for my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. You've given me 100 credits? Just like that? I... I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. You're giving him 100 credits? Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away. Yes, what's in your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen all the show wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these Sith animals could unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop it. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed. I... I didn't. No, I, I know. Don't worry about it. I just... I must not be making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. What is this planet coming to, huh? <gasps> Swami's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lars says you belong, Swami? This is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. A drink? Hey, hey! For a slummy, you ain't so bad. Come on, boys, this slummy's buying the next round. <laughs> no way, forget it. No more drinks. We're light enough as it is. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. If this crazy street preacher keeps on about war and days of reckoning, the Sith just might lock him away. Friends and fellow humans, I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gotham Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walked the world of Taris. The Wookiees and Ephorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them! Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action! We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet! You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on, we should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. This elevator is off limits. Only 
Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols, so unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. Move along, then. I'm gonna need some kind of disguise if I want to get past this guy. The evil walks up. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kepler Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Don't get me wrong, the game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago, and things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. Fifty credits get you my old Pazak deck, and a free lesson. A great offer if you can afford it. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Of course, of course. No sense in a youngster like you wasting your days away with an old man in a dingy bar. But if you ever want to chat, you know where to find me. Oh. 
What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. I'm going to enjoy relieving you of your credits almost as much as I'm going to enjoy humiliating you. <laughs> Luck is no substitute for skill in Paza. If you are foolish enough to play me again, I won't repeat the mistake of underestimating you. If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, you know where to find me. I saw your match against Niklas. He doesn't lose very often. I bet you could make a lot of credits as a professional Kazakh player. You know, you're my kind of guy. Rich and handsome. Just the way I like them. Why don't we slip away to the tap room together? The bartender can mix us up something special for only 20 credits. If you play your cards right, Kazakh might not be the only game you've been making to me. Well, I'm used to the finer things in life. I'm not about to lower my standards for any man. So how about it? You want me to get those drinks for us? I love a man who's not afraid to spend his credits. I'll meet you in the tap room. Don't be too long. I'm not a patient girl. Wow, are you really a noble? You must be pretty rich, right? Is your family important? I can trace my lineage back five generations to one of the founding houses of Terrace. In fact... Oh, we seem to have some unexpected company, my darling. Oh, don't pay attention to him. He's just some Pazak player I met. He's not an actual noble like you. Come on, sweetie. Let's go back to your mansion. Thank you. 
No hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I'd guess you've experienced many lonely evenings. Something I'm hoping to avoid tonight. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. That's better. Now, hurry up with our order. And here are your drinks, Miss Lavin. I apologize for the delay. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Girl on fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now. I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll! In this corner I give you Gerlon Twofinger! And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan! Nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Girl on Two Fingers. Gerlon used to be one of the best in the game. Now he's barely better than old Dead-Eye Duncan. Marl's been around forever. I wonder if he ever thinks about retiring. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring? Or did you just come to watch? What? Why are you here if you don't even know what the dueling ring is? I don't have time to answer your questions. I need to stay focused for my next match. Maybe Azure can help you out. He's the hut over there in the corner. He arranges all the duels. Fibroblades and blasters, and nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? <laughs> Oh, 
This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across a crew manifest back on the end of our spire. <laughs> presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner I give you Jedi Duncan! And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger! Beat me in the dueling ring, and now you're gonna rub it in my face. Yeah, well, I'm used to it. So pardon me if I ignore your gloating. Gee, I wonder why. Couldn't have anything to do with being the worst duelist on Terrace, could it? Even a rookie like you got the better of me. Look, I admit it, you're better than me. Everyone's better than me. 
blindfolded, one-legged attack with a rusty knife could probably beat me, okay? Is that what you wanted to hear? You satisfied yet? Are you happy now that you've taken the last shred of dignity I have? Oh, well, okay. Goodbye, then. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you... Gerlon Two Fingers. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene. Emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger! Fair and square, stranger. But if I still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Back before my injury, I would have mopped the ring up with you. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. Finest selection of supplies in all of Terrace. You interested in seeing what I have in stock? Because of the Sith quarantine, I haven't been able to stock any new inventory, but I've still got some nice items you might be interested in.
see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Zelka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat goop disease, of course. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rakgul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. I don't see how that's going to happen. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over, and nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Please, don't say that! If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? It will just take me a moment while I examine your injuries, and then I'll administer the proper treatment. Psst, you there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rakgul serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rakgul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Look, Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. Hm, I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? Now be smart about this. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer. Right. If you find the Rakgul serum, just take it to Zax in the lower city bounty office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. 